Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Olufi Vogapi, also known as Alisa. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Subscribe I feel appreciated and love you guys. As you can read from the title and thumbnail of the video, I'm going to be telling you what I was doing during my holidays, what I was up during my holidays. Because I didn't upload for the whole of the holidays and I thought that was going to be the time where I was like, you know, uploading every week, twice, three times a week because I'm literally at home the whole time. And then nothing happened <laughs> and honestly i'm gonna be honest the main reason why i went so quiet for so long is because my phone was full of storage and my backup like my icloud was also full so like my icloud was like on because i pay for 200 gb it was on 200 gb and then my phone was also full so now i had to create space and that took forever and then i had created space on my icloud because i deleted a lot of things that were backed up and then I had to wait for the things that are on my phone to be backed up. It was it was a process, a long process. And then the video that I had, which is the packing video, wasn't saving because it was like at first it was like there's not enough space and then it didn't want to say. I was trying, like I really was trying. And yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so 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 sorry because I love you guys so much. I thought why not come back and tell you guys what I was up to during the holidays and you know what happened, how it's been and all that stuff. And I don't wanna lie, it had been like a long minute since I lost with my sister because for those who do not know or who are new here, I'm originally from Eastern Cape in Bizana, but I also have a home in Market KZN so the, during those holidays i went to johannesburg to visit my sister and i hadn't visited her since like i think 2019 was the last time i visited her because we usually meet at home barely whether it's in market or Bizan, but we usually all go home so those holidays i was like let me let me try something else let me try another place you know let me try something different and what a time to try something what a time what a holiday to go to Johannesburg because if you know you know what the hell was that what the hell was that anywho I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you guys some pictures for the moment you know where I have pictures and videos and all of that and I hope you guys enjoy this video certain what I got there on Sunday I wait no I got there on Saturday and I slept and when I wake up the next day, does my sister not tell me what it was an earthquake? <laughs> Literally, my sister was like, you slipped through an earthquake. And I'll, 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 include a, yo, I'll include a picture somewhere here. But most people by now already know what it was. An, uh, there, was a, there was the first earthquake and then there was the one that split the road in half. But there was like the first one, which was literally on the night I got there. And I, I don't know that I can't even comment a lot on it because I was sleeping. I mean, I woke up and my sister was like, you really slipped through an earthquake. And I was like, there was an earthquake. And I actually didn't believe her. But like, I really didn't until she went on to Google and she showed me videos and, you know, all that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So there really was an earthquake. <laughs> and then I went on to Instagram and I saw everyone talking about it. I'm like, oh, so there really was an earthquake. <laughs> Anywho, and then I went, I actually visited a different gym other than UWC gym for the first time since forever. I think it was like two days in of being there. I visited my sister's gym. I was, I don't know, I was so intimidated at first. I think it was easier because my sister was there. But it was like, yo, what is happening here? Oh, what is happening here? It was so intimidating. But to get, yeah, and I tried a cycling class for the first time. Like, I've been seeing like people like you know like those i've been seeing youtube videos i've been seeing them everywhere and i've always wanted to try one and then i tried one for the first time <laughs> i was literally so excited but my god did i suffer after that because their chairs were very uncomfortable and i do not think the chair that i was sitting on was like basically for a person with, sh with short legs like mine so literally my i couldn't sit for a week like i literally couldn't sit for a week my bottom was, was so so because of the how uncomfortable the chairs are it was so so and that was like literally on my first day going there 
I did the cycling class on my first day on my first day going to the gym and I never did it again. <laughs> and I never in my defense though, I was gonna do it again, but after a week no after yeah, it was like three days. Oh yeah, after three days of being there I went to the gym and then after a week Oadu and my sister's boyfriend came. So we didn't really go to the gym because you know there were people and no 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 nah. But yeah, and then after that, I couldn't try it because I, I was gonna try it and then I couldn't try it. And after they left, I had to get ready for coming back. So, yeah. If you see me looking down, it's because I wrote them, I wrote the points down because I didn't want to forget them. So, yeah, when I'm looking down, just know, Guti, I am looking at this. Anywho, as I said, Guti, after a week of me being there, my. Oh, Buti. Buti is my sister's boyfriend. Yeah, so Upu and Alu came, and when they came, we had to go. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. When they came, we had to go for some music competition because um he's a pianist. So yeah, there was um a pro um, no national competitions for high schools that was happening, and we went to one of the days. And oh my god, I have to say, some children are gifted. Like I know some children can sing. Like some children are gifted. Had the Lord given me that voice, I would sing it in every moment. Like literally my videos, my YouTube videos would have me singing half the way through. So yeah, I don't know that I really enjoyed And uh, it's crazy because I usually don't enjoy opera, but enjoyed that one I enjoyed. Like I really did enjoy it. And then after that, when we came back, we started watching movies. So we actually started a thing where every day, at least once, we had to have like movies as a family so they put snacks heater and plus it was very cold during this winter so movies heater blankets you know and just enjoy movies but with that being said because we watch we were watching on netflix and the first movie we watched was the first movie i made sure what we watched before watching any other movie was the woman king why because i love that movie and i've watched it before in theater with my friends but i saw what he I saw Uguti, I would watch it again and I did and I might even watch it again and again and again and it's crazy because I don't want like watching something I've already watched or I don't like reading a book I've already read because I hate it when I already know what's gonna happen to still watch it because it's like I already know what's gonna happen but that movie is one movie that I will never get tired of watching I feel like I will watch again and again and again but because I am the guy, um, I have to watch it with someone. There has to be a reason why I'm repeating it. I won't just repeat it just because it's clear and clean and I have nothing else to do. So, yeah. Anywho, because uh, like, I, as I said, we were watching like every day, almost. That's that's literally what I did 80% of the time. Watch movies, watch movies on Netflix and sometimes series, but then for series, it'll be like on my phone. I, and then in week three, I think it was... Wait, so week two of me being there was when we went to the music competition. In week three of me being there, my sister got a fireplace installed because it was the day. However, those holidays were cold. Like, it was so cold. That fireplace was a saving grace of ours. Literally, that fireplace being there, Lord knew what he was doing. And the timing and everything. Yo! -ho. Yo! <laughs> It went down after that because after the fireplace was installed, I'm gonna say like about a few days to a week max after the fireplace was installed, we didn't have it. So basically, I'm gonna low shading is happening, except for low shading happening, and Lina, we didn't have electricity. Why did we not have electricity? It's a long story, and I really didn't understand it as well. I don't know why, but I think because you know the meter box where you with the numbers after buying the electricity it wasn't working so now people from escom or whatever had to come and fix it and 
will literally sit, I think, close to like five days without electricity. And it was so cold. And there was no heater. That fireplace was what saved us. And it was literally, you know, the snow, because like everyone knows it snowed in Johannesburg. The day was snowing, there was no electricity. <laughs> the day was snowing, we literally had to leave the house and go buy more wood for the fireplace. And we had to go get like another gas, like, because that money we had to use the gas stove. So we had to go refill a gas coin. And I was just like, oh, Jesus. Like, but imagine all of this is happening and my phone is switching off. My laptop is switching off. It was just like, how did people survive without technology? No phone, no laptop, no TV, no nothing. Just bonding time with the family. But I don't want to lie. I feel like I'd redo that holiday. Although so much happened. I'd so redo it because I was so relaxed. I think I feel like after first semester, first semester, you guys might not know this, but first semester was hell for me. <laughs> it was hell. And after first semester, to just go and fight with my sister and be in Gekko and be with my family and shelter to Al and you know, just like have a normal life with family was something I really enjoyed. I was happier after six months okay not six months chef after three months of misery i was happy and i was good with it and yeah so although it so much happened i'd so redo it and i don't know like i'm on my way or I'm like actually no before i went back home i was like during home i'm gonna create a routine because i don't want to happen first semester to happen second semester so I was like, okay, so I'm going to create a routine, have my morning routine, have my night routine, nah, 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 I'm going to start running in the mornings, nah, 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 nah. I tried that the first week I got there, and then it didn't happen again. And then on the last week, I tried again, I was like, okay, last week before we go back to school, let's try, you know, let's try, you know, going back to it, jogging in the mornings. I did that once, I did that the second time, did I do it again? No. And even since I've been back, I didn't, maybe, maybe I've chucked in the middle like two or three times, but you know what, I'm gonna get to it. And when I get to it, I'm gonna full film a morning routine for you guys, and I'm gonna film a night routine for you guys. I just need to get my shit together, and I will, I promise, I will. Time, nine minutes, twenty. I don't know, yeah, building a routine and being disciplined is not as easy as everyone makes it seem it is really not as busy as everyone makes it seem anywho we are approaching the end of the video this video is just literally me venting hey i do not want to lie being back to campus and having to cook myself i miss my sister's lunches i miss my sister cooking for me i miss not having to cook i mean i'm hell i even miss my uputu's dinners because uputu also cooked i miss not having to be the one that cooks in order for me to eat I must not having to stress about academics and just spending time with the Ailu and just spending time on the TV. I must not have it, there's a shame. Because why did I have to come back? Why did I have to come back? No, I know why. Because one day I want to feel Dr. Olivia Mugabe. But yeah. <laughs> if you watch till now, please comment down below a strawberry emoji. So that I know that you watch till the end because we have reached the end of me just venting and talking. And if you are still watching, I actually appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for watching until the end. I will see you guys in my next video.